Hey guys, this is Michael from Conquer Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to find the concentration of ions in solutions. I have two example problems we're going to work through here, and I'll show you multiple ways to do these problems. So the problem reads, given, give the concentration of each type of ions in the following solution. In the first one, we have 0.5 molar cobalt nitrate. And we need to find the concentration of the cobalt ion and then the concentration of the nitrate ion. So the first thing you want to do is just write how that ionic compound would dissociate or how it would break up in solution. So we have cobalt nitrate and in solution it's going to dissociate into cobalt 2 plus and two nitrate ions. Then uh, you can do this multiple ways. One way is uh, using stoichiometry. So we have 0.5 molar of the cobalt nitrate and you can see this is a 1 to 1 ratio. So then this means you'll also get 0.5 molar cobalt ion and then you can see that this is 1 to 2 ratio. So that means we're going to get twice as much nitrate meaning we're going to get 0.5 times 2 which is just 1 molar. And here's a visual for you to kind of get a sense of it. This is the cobalt nitrate um, compound. And then when you when it breaks up, you can see you get one cobalt and two nitrates. So that means you get the same amount of cobalt ions as you did. And then you get twice as much nitrate ions. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it is much easier. Uh, you just take the concentration of the compound and multiplied by the coefficient of the ion. So for cobalt, we see there's only one cobalt. So we do one and then multiply it by the concentration of the solution, which is 0.5, and then that's gonna give us 0.5 molar. And then for nitrate, we see there's a, there's a subscript of two. So there's we know there's two of these multiplied by the original concentration, which is 0.5 and then that's going to give us one molar. So that's the shortcut and that makes a lot of sense for most students. All right, let's do the second example. So if number two says we, I mean part B, we want to find the concentration of iron and the concentration of perchlorate in this solution. So first step, we're just going to write out how this ionic compound would dissociate. We have iron perchlorate and then that's going to dissociate into iron 3 plus and 3 perchlorates. Um, so let's just, do, let's just do the shortcut because that seems that's easy. So for iron, iron 3 plus, we take the subscript of the iron, which is just going to be 1 here because there's no, no number. So 1 multiplied by the original concentration of the solution, which is 1 molar. And then that's going to give us 1 molar of iron. And then for the perchlorate, ClO4 minus, let's see how many perchlorates we have. We look at the subscript, there's a three right here. And then we multiply by the original concentration of the solution, which is one. And then that's gonna give us three molar perchlorate ion. And that's it. That's how you would find the concentration of ions in solution. You can uh, either do it the stoichiometric way, or you can just do the shortcut where you take the subscript, of the ion and then multiply by the concentration of the solution. All right, hopefully that helped. And if it did, give it a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe, uh, because I'll be posting up lots of videos that help you with chemistry. And then if you like my teaching style and you're individual, I mean interested in individual tutoring, check out www.conquerchemistry.com slash online tutoring. All right, keep practicing and I'll see you next time.